Well, hello, folks. I'm still around. Just bored. Just can't get nothing going on, artifact-wise. So I thought I'd let you look at some things. I'm sure there's a lot of these right here you've never seen. And you won't get to see them real good now. There's some cool points in there though. That would have been a killer, killer Kurt Corn notch right there. It's an awesome square knife right there. They come from the old stomping grounds. Kurt right there too. Commissioner Tom's idea. I was going to go all the way around the room with it, but I just hadn't got around to it. I've got rocks that were. Y'all seen this. Some had a request to want to see it again. I, I just scan over it. All them down there are modern. All of them are authentic. Here's my last hunts at those stomping grounds a year ago. That was killer. This is the only find I found in the spring. A little beaver lake. Hoping to get back in there this fall. And we got more rocks over here. Of course, y'all seen that. That's all the old stomping grounds. About 14 cases of them there. Sidekick, about half as many. And we got these other properties. That... Got started anyway. Some of them we don't have names yet. And we got boxes full of rocks. recent place I started hunting. Y'all seen these few finds? <clears throat> Probably didn't see that one. I didn't even clean it up. So all that under there is rocks. Just bukus, bukus. Feel great, big heartbreakers. Pistols and a lot of goodies in here. Celts and drilled pieces, broken pieces of gorgets. That thing right there looks sweeter every time I look at it. Sorry for the shaking. I got in a bind or something. I 
That's Purchase Dalton right there. And this right here is Purchase. That's Agate, Agate Basin. That's a real nice piece right there, real thin. And that one's purchased from, I believe it's Illinois. Can't remember now. Everything else is personal finds except this one right here. I purchased it too. I believe it's fake. I don't have no doubt about these others, but I believe that one right there is fake. I bought it with an Entley drill. Said it was dug up in Missouri. Ain't got a bit of patina on it. But it's got coffee stain on it. Stabbed it been whole. Some goodies I've been making over here. A lot of you ain't interested in this, but I'll show you to these to you that are interested, and, and you've seen a lot of them. I uh, just finished this one just a little while ago. It's got a kind of two-tone material. I mean, it's all black, but this is a whole lot glossier than the tip. The tip, it's got some. Uh, I don't know, just different, different texture in the stone, and that's that that uh, less shiny stuff isn't so easy to flake through. I don't know what style that is. It's pretty cool though. That was pokey. Uh, I think I've made this one since maybe you've seen. Call it a Kirk Corner Notch. And again, it's got the glossy on the bottom and the Gore Texy dry rock on the top. That's a lot of you seen a glass piece. That's a cool piece right there. Even if you don't like modern map stuff, still a cool piece of glass. Music's running out. Let's start it back up. It's a cool piece of obsidian that I made out of, out of a fellow that sent me. I like it more fox ear deals. I think I've made this one since I showed any that I made. That pokey too. I'm considering it a pine tree. No bevel. All flaked to the center. I'm one like it. Let's see. The more I look at this Dalton right here, the better I like it. You see, it's got fool's gold because it's so close to the edge of the rock or the rind, and all that brown is rind. Just surprised I got it as well as I did. Not as much rind on this side, but you still see the fool's gold in it. That's a Dalton with bling, I guess you could say. And this is probably one of my favorite pieces that I've ever made. Piece of material I found at the dovetail field. I 
that's where they're locked at. I guess beauty's in the eyes of the beholder. It's just a difference in people, I guess. All these were made in 2015. Probably hadn't seen this one. That's some odd, odd material right there. I packed home a piece, weighed 50 pounds, I guess. And it was some of the roughest stuff I ever tried to nap. You can see why. But I was bound to determine I was going to get a point out of it. And this is the only one I got out of it. And the rest of it, you'd hit it and it'd just break all to pieces. Anyway. It didn't get the best of me. It was worth 50 pounds carrying it out of the field to get that piece. It's a big old grab cave. get this flaking to show up on this black. Not really a side A or B to that one. Pretty good piece. I mean it's got flaws. If you ever worked any of that hornstone, you know it's subject to flaw pretty easy. The raw material is, all of it is, I'm sure. Good size piece, it's over five inches of it. Anyway, this video, I ain't gonna make it too long. I'm just letting y'all know that I'm still alive and hoping to get, get some artifact hunting in. You know, this fall, I'm watching my fields and they're real close to being ready to cut. And I'm real anxious to get in them whenever they do. But in any way, look at this killer. It's a paleo man special here. I still ain't got it bloody. Life would kill me. It's Father's Day present. As sweet as can be. Alright, I'll get off here. Good luck to all y'all.